Now what? For portability, cutting wood, um, I have this Fiskars camp hatchet. Um, I've had it for a number of years. Uh, I sharpened it the other day and it actually does a really nice job. So we'll go ahead and give it a test on this particular piece of wood. That actually wasn't too much of an effort. This is old wood. Um, it's going to be the test wood for today. And uh, I've wrapped a handle with some 550 cord just for extra comfort. And if you're ever out without cordage, you know, I've got about uh, 30 feet right there. Okay, the most practical thing. Um, got bow saws. They've been around with the tubular construction since the 20s and there's been a configuration of a bow saw around for thousands of years um, the Romans used them the Chinese used them they were on every farm in America up until the 20s and probably still after that and uh, it's got cutting teeth right here there's four they're kind of offset a little bit and then you got a raker teeth so it's a cross-cut saw and we'll go ahead and give this a try. The good thing about this is you can just buy new blades. I imagine you can sharpen them, but uh, who's ever done that? sides get a nice smooth side with the saw um, there's various constructions some of them just have kind of a triangular shape and I wouldn't recommend those because this gives you the ability to use the length of the blade without having to uh, limit yourself on the size wood that you can cut so that's one thing to consider for a bow saw a great option they come in various sizes they're uh, packable they're pretty light and uh, they work fairly well okay and another option this has been around for I don't know how many years it's a crosscut saw it's a one person crosscut saw um, it can be used as two person just by taking this handle off and putting it in this hole and you can have someone on the other side sharing the load so this one is barn fresh so I'm gonna give it a try um, it looks to be fairly good shape all the teeth are there um, they look to be the right height and offset I'm gonna clean it up and try to hone it and uh, see if I can make it go from there um, these do require to be sharpened um, and it takes special tools um, I don't have the tools currently but I'll get them because I plan on restoring this thing and having her running and nice looking so we'll go ahead and give this a try
and that didn't require too much effort a lot easier than the uh, bow saw actually and it'll take down larger pieces of wood and uh, I think this will be a great addition to my collection some people like to just collect these and maybe paint a little scene on it but that's a waste of a good saw <laughs> so I'm gonna restore this it chatters a little bit basically because the blades slightly bent so I'll have to straighten that out and uh, I don't think I'll have to do a whole lot in means of sharpening it currently and considering the kits to uh, sharpen it are about a hundred dollars that's a good thing it'll save me a little bit of money for the time being so I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting this up this log up here and uh, we'll have some decent wood for outdoors and stay tuned for more on the crosscut saw because I do plan on restoring that and don't forget to like and subscribe check out my other other videos and uh, see you on the next one